So here we are in Manchester's noisy and vibrant centre outside the John Rylands Library. It was designed and built by his wife, Enriquetta Rylands, who wanted to use her inheritance of millions to build a library for the people of Manchester. And she didn't just build it anywhere, she built it in one of the poorest parts of Manchester because she didn't see why the poor should be denied beauty and education. It's now part of the University of Manchester. Shall us go inside? And here we are in the amazing historic reading room. It is the centerpiece of the Rylands and there are hundreds of marvellous things we could show you, but let's start here. And if you think it looks like a cathedral, you'd be right, because it was built and designed by Enriquetta Rylands as a cathedral to knowledge. Every inch of the Rylands Library is intricate with beautiful detail, from the leaded windows, to the radiator covers, to the lights. The Rylands was one of the first places in Manchester to be opened completely with electrical light, which was a marvel in 1900. And they're sculpted in the shape of cotton flowers to remind us about where the money came from to build the Rylands, which was from John Ryland's cotton money. And look up. When you come into the Rylands, remember to look up. If you look up, there are dragons to be found. One of the many things it's worth knowing about Enriquetta Rylands is that she took an interest in every detail of the library, including the chairs. So uh, these are all the prototype chairs that didn't make it. This one was too small, this one was too large, maybe that one at the end was just right. So uh, yes, Mrs Rylands was also the Goldilocks of chairs. And one of the most exciting things is to be able to take you behind the scenes in the John Rylands Library. And this is the mezzanine. And listen to that. Here we are in the heart of busy, noisy Manchester. And it's a reminder that the Rylands is here for you to be a place in which to be calm, in which to find some peace in the heart of the city, a place just to be. Mm -hmm. 